Today we're opening maximum hollow mystery packs with a guaranteed ultra and super rare. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. I was sent five of these maximum hollow mystery packs, which I think are gonna be really fun to open because they have guaranteed foils. And we're gonna redeem ourselves today. We're opening a box of grand creators. If you guys saw, we opened two cases and got zero collector rares. Yeah, zero. So today is the day we redeem ourselves and we pull something epic out of these mystery packs. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Gaia, Dark Paladin and the Red Eyes Black Dragon Korean. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think will be in the mystery packs. And will we finally break the 2 case curse of Grand Creators? All right, I'm going to pop this box open, then we're going to get started. Let's get into the opening. We'll start off with Grand Creators because we do have 24 of those. Let's see if we can break the streak right off the bat. And by the way, we did the Dark Magician stream yesterday, and I think the plan is going to be either go for Blue Eyes Jet or Illusion of Chaos. It depends on which one we pull because I'm recording this before we actually get into it. But if we can pull like one of the, you know, let's say we pull Illusion of Chaos Starlight, then maybe tomorrow we might do a search for the Blue Eyes Jet. So we'll see how that goes. Depends on how long it takes to get the Dark Magician. The reports are that it is much easier to pull than initially thought. Like I thought it was one in six cases. Turns out I was not right about that. I think. So there's, I don't know. I can't keep up. So once we open, I guess we'll find out yesterday. Why would you put this in the back? Why would you put it in the back? So for me, I don't know. You guys already know what happened. Breath of the Resurrection. Very cool. And if you know what happened, then you know uh, how it went, how fast we pulled it, all that stuff. And potentially going to do another stream because I have 10 cases worth of the set. So, oh, okay. I think we got something here. Psychic Tracker. Fateful Adventure. Okay. There we go. That's a good card. Fateful Adventure. We will take that. Very good. All right, cool. Let's go into the next one. Next, we're going to go into a mystery pack. Oh, and I also have a, a note to read from the seller or the uh, the sender, I guess. He didn't sell them to me. He just sent them to me. So we're going to see what he has to say. So that's cool. All right, so these are from Sauce TCG, it appears. Ruxin, really hope you pull something dope. Thanks for reviving my love for Yu-Gi-Oh! a few years back, even though my wallet is hurting because of it. Jesse at Sauce underscore TCG on Instagram. So if you guys, I guess he's going to be selling these. I'm not totally sure. He didn't mention it in the note. But uh, he sent these, and he said we revived his love for the TCG, so it's really our fault that he spent all this money. <laughs> but let's see what we can pull here. I, is this how you open these? Uh... <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it. We got it open. Uh, actually, I guess was the right way. So there are five cards per pack. Let's check this out. So five cards per pack, guaranteed ultra and super rare, which is going to be pretty cool. Maximum hollow mystery pack. So I wonder what it's called maximum hollow. I don't know. Is it going to be at the back, I guess? It is a mystery pack, so I figure it'll be at the back. So we got the Squeak Knight. Very cool card. Scrap Raptor. This is actually a really, really good card in uh, the dino deck that I've been playing on Master Duel. AI meet you. DD Orthros. Oh, Cubic Wave. Wait, is this our hollow? This gold rare? Okay, so here are our hollows. Uh, I would say so far these are not the best hollows, but you know, they're just guaranteed hollows, not necessarily good ones. Okay, next grand creators pack. Let's see if we can pull water enchantress. We really just want a collector rare. That's what we're really looking for. We're trying to break the streak. Exo sister. Uh, we got the wielder. Yeah, the problem is it's like the third card, so I guess we should be doing some sort of pack trick like we did originally because it's just weird but it's the third card so it's supposed to be this one, but then it could be the fifth one as well. So I think we just go like this. If it's the fifth one, I think that means you pulled something. Itali, Castell, the No Punk. Very cool. Grand Creators. Um, it's not the most exciting set. It has the Brave Engine, which is like in extremely good and extremely valuable. So that's what we're really looking for. But outside of that, I mean, it's Insectors, which is pretty cool. And then like Torrential and Solemn Strike and Itali e uh, Collector Rares, which if you don't pull Collector Rares, <laughs> it's not that good. So uh, we didn't pull Collector Rares before, which was pretty fun. Okay, it wasn't fun. It was terrible. <laughs> it was rough. Ties of the Brethren. So hopefully we can break that streak today if not today maybe another time but the goal is today so we got four more mystery packs we're gonna open them another one after this pack let me know in the comments if we're gonna break this streak today and if we will get anything good out of these mystery packs so we got goki pole exo sister vadis very cool okay these mystery pack packages though look really really awesome so uh scan for link to the maximum hollow mystery pack so i guess you can buy them there i don't know that's actually kind of smart to put that uh put that link on there Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll see if we actually get anything good ourselves. Hopefully we will. All right. We have... Oh, wait. It's at the front? Strike Ninja? It's at the front? Is it random? Wait, two supers? Wait, is it an all-hollow pack? Revenge Rally? Okay, it seems like it's an all-hollow. There's another one. That's four supers. So you get at least one ultra and one super. So I guess you can get more? Is that what the deal is? Oh! Oh, and an Abiru, the primal being. I think this card is 
over 10 bucks, so that's a good one. Nibiru is obviously a great card and pretty nice in the meta. Okay, so the first one was kind of a dud. Second one was a four super rare, one secret rare pack. So that definitely turned around. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay, we got the Starlet, the Ties of the Brethren, Virtual World, Exosister Stella, Torrential Tribute, and Hidden Armory. All right. Give us something good, guys. Give us something good. Can we redeem ourselves for the Collector Rare? I just want to pull one. Send it be guy. You guys have been railing me on uh, Twitter and stuff. Sending me. Oh, I opened ten packs at Walmart. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what I got? I got uh, collector rare. You know, right of Aramisir or something like that. You know, worth like two hundred bucks or something. Uh, and uh, I got zero out of two cases. So it was like, uh, you know, just a a whimper for help there. It's very painful. Okay, next pack. I just want to pull one. You know. Okay, we did pull one technically. But it was for you guys, the Hornet. Speaking of that, giveaways, go check out the community tab. If you have not, I've already shipped tons of giveaways. So you guys have... Okay, I think we got something. Actually been claiming them, which is nice. Ooh, the Punk Amazing Dragon. I don't think that's really a good one, but that's all right. That's an Ultra Rare. We still have at least one more Ultra, potentially a Collector Rare, which is what we're really looking for out of this. Wait, did I just see a really bent card? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Hoppa. Go, you pull. Castell. Fateful Adventure? Did we pull the same Ultra? Wait, where'd I put it? Two Fateful Adventure? I I guess that's good? I mean, okay. That's pretty weird. Two Ultras out of the same box. I'm getting worried. Does that mean that we have another like weird thing where we didn't get Collector Rares and we get like four Ultras sometimes? Please, no. Oh, okay, I thought we were about to get it there. Okay, another mystery pack. We have... What, two more of these? Okay, there's only four of these, not five. Okay, I thought there was five for some reason. All right, let's go into the next one. All right, uh, and hopefully I didn't, like, toss it or something. I don't think I did. I just checked. Let's see what's in the next one. So we have four total packs. We have, okay, not all hollow pack this time. Interesting. Melfi Playhouse. Okay. Pins on, oh, we got a rare. All right. Goki the Master Ogre. That's our guaranteed super. And... Ooh, an Xerion Universe from the Collector Town. Let's see how it looks. Looks like it's maybe like lightly played. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't think it has big value, but it's definitely really cool to see these like nostalgic cards. I've always loved the 10 promos as well. And Xerion Universe is a pretty cool one, even though um, most people don't let you play and go for it, man. All right. A few more packs of Grand Creators. We have a final mystery pack. We've done okay, I would say. We pulled. Okay, I forgot to, forgot to do the, the thing, but that's okay. So, okay, right now we shouldn't have another Ultra. So, let's... Well, maybe we will. We actually had four in a couple boxes, but that was because we didn't collect our rares. Hopefully, that doesn't happen this time. But I don't really trust these packs at all. So let's see. If we end up not getting a collector rare out of three cases, we're just cursed, I think. I think we're just cursed. Centipede, Punk, Telly, Dragonfly. That's the first one of those. That's a pretty cool super rare. Man. Getting nervous already. Like, just one box. I mean, you're only, it's one every three boxes, so like I shouldn't be too worried. But after last time, I'm worried. Magic or Warrior of the Relics. Very cool. Okay. Do you guys believe or not? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. What do you think? Can we do it? We have Solemn Strike. Crash. Castell. Virtual World Hime. Griffin Rider. And uh, Psychic Wielder. Yeah, and I I've been raggy on these sets recently a lot. One, I mean, not only because we didn't get Collector Rares and the quality control is really bad. Um, but mostly because it's just like the same cards over and over. Which is like, it's cool if you want the rares, I guess. That you get like a million of them. But it's not cool if you want the hollows. You just don't really get any. It's really, I don't know, it's strange. The uh, the opening ratios are weird. So we've got uh, it's three ultras only. Ties of the Brethren. Okay, there's an Insector Dragonfly. Very cool. And the final pack of this box, our last chance to redeem ourselves in the Collector Rare this video. And then we have one more mystery pack. Okay, that one opened like an old school pack. That was weird. Maybe it means something. Which, I always say that, and it never means anything. <laughs> Never means anything. Okay, we've got the uh, the punk, the Zarlam, Zaralam, Googie Pole, Exo Sister, Exo Beetle, Hidden Armory. Oh no. Four Ultras. Does that mean that we got screwed again? Four Ultras. Um. Yep, that sucks. That's not good. That probably means that there's a good chance that we got another uh, Collector Rare list case, which is horrifying. But let's get into this final uh, mystery hollow pack. 
Let's see. So far, we pulled Nibiru, which is pretty cool. Xerian Universe was also very cool. Uh, and they're very weird to open. But I do really like how they look. They look very clean. Okay, final pack. We have five cards. We have Despian Tragedy. Look at the Melfi Pony. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Didi Orthos again. So we got a repeat. That's not fun. And then... Space Telia, Telia, however you say this. All right, okay, it's nostalgic for sure, but um, these I think are the most printed Yu-Gi-Oh cards of all time. They're like, it seems like everyone that comes to me, like, how much are my cards worth? They show me a set of these, and I'm like, about zero cents. <laughs> all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content, mystery packs, uh, trying to redeem ourselves with the collector rares, old school packs, all that stuff. Shout out to TC, Trust Cards, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo. Thank you for following G Raider, Daxter, and Ian Musa. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.